Hi everybody. I'm going to talk about my uh, Langstroth beehive. Um, I have a two deep and one medium Illinois super. Um, there's a frame for the deep. Um, this video is for uh, new beekeepers. Um, or wannabe beekeepers. If you're a wannabe beekeeper, um, it's now March 1st, I believe, and it's kind of coming late now, so might as well get your bees before everything's out of stock. Um, so here's a entrance reducer right here I'll show you. Uh, it's hard to get them out. Sometimes they get a little stuck here. So I'm going to show you how to pull those out. Here I just got a hook here. And this should be able to just poke it out like that. And use that for the bees to come. I got to switch out the size. Everything. It's kind of sticky right now with the fresh paint. Um, what and I purchased some white paint. Um, I guess kind of keep the bees cool on warm summer days and just, you know, might be pen too hot for them. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it was very simple to put together if you have basic woodworking skills. It could be a little bit, you need a more complex, uh, more complex, you know, woodworking tools if you want to build your own. You could make these grooves and for it to all connect together. Got a clean excluder here. And I'll make some more videos coming up on, on what you'll need to start beekeeping. And um, this is an overview of what's going on here. Um, I'm new at this too, but did a lot of research. But, you know, there's always more to learn. So it's going to help show you all how to start beekeeping. And go from there. This is an entrance reducer. Kind of like this side. You hear a lot. That's the better way to go, just because it's very small compared <laughs> to this one. So I always keep it down like this, like that, or like that. And I'll get into basic. Um, I'm gonna get into basic uh, stuff, petty maybe stuff, while the year goes on on how to do this. And yeah, so if you do, but yeah, if you do want to buy a bee. Um, hive this year and these I recommend doing it now because time is flying by and um, yeah maybe in a week I'm going in about a week I'll show you, show you what stuff I bought and what all came together and what I have to do next and like um, I'm gonna put a little more there is a little bit of wax on here not a lot so I'm gonna I don't know if you can see it, it's very light. Yeah, I don't think you can really see it right now. I can't even see it barely. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna add some wax to this, paint it over. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Um, yeah, I'm excited to working with you all. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to answer what I know. <laughs> Um, yeah, so stay tuned, subscribe, like, uh, yeah, and then we'll work on this together, everybody, but, um, I'll show you what we need to buy first, that's maple syrup stuff, so, I'll show you what you need to buy, um, coming up, some stuff I don't have yet, and it's in coming, but, just hasn't shown up yet so shipping can be goofy too so you got to remember that you want everything before your bees come and everything like
like that. So um, just stay tuned and uh, we'll see what all happens, you know. First year. Very excited. And then northern climates, I do recommend two deeps because more brood, especially more honey. And and the bigger is better in northern, more north you go, just be safe here but i mean i'd also throw all mites that treat for them just to make sure to but test and make sure your varroa counts are low i'll show you how to do that this summer um yeah so said we're working with you guys again and yeah we'll do this but assembling the hive is very easy and Painting kind of takes time because you got to let it dry and, you know, all that goes. Uh, but putting it together is very simple. The frames are a little di different. I'll just explain here how this goes. Um, so you get two of these side pieces and then the bottom piece and a long pleat piece, which that's the top. So that would be sitting, that would be sitting on top like that. Put holds it up um, and I used this glue for putting it together type bond three uh, I think it was like three four dollars at the hardware store it wasn't a whole lot um, so then I, what I did was I just put a little bit of glue right in there and right in there you can go whatever way you want, how to assemble bottom top, and then so those grooves, and it's very common sense, easy to do. And then on the bottom here, it kept splitting when I would pound the nail in, so um, I pre drilled, small drill, I can't remember what size I used. Oh my goodness, one of the small ones, very small, just a little tiny hole. Uh, and then these ones I didn't really have to pre-drill just because they went pretty good. But if you want to be careful, because I did have a little bit of crack, but nothing crazy. So um, if you do want to, that's your preference. If you want to pre-drill these holes here on the nails and before you pound them in so it doesn't crack. But this frame in particular went pretty well. But some of them, they go, they do crack a little bit, but... Um, yeah, otherwise, top one's not that bad. I just pre drilled the bottom because, I don't know. But yeah, the glue first, and I waited, waited like an hour. It was kind of all stuck together. And, uh, yeah. And I can pop this out because everything's together now, the nails and all that, and the glue. And I just say 24 hours to wait with the glue, but I just nailed it in anyways. It was sticking. So, it'll stay stuck. Uh, but yeah, you can pop these frames out if you want to do other crazy stuff with beekeeping. Um, just gotta pop it out. It's kind of difficult, especially if you're new, but once you get the hang of it, you can pop it out. Otherwise, yeah. Um, yeah, well, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Um, if you want to see more of this, make sure to subscribe so you get notifications when I post a new video um, you know the drill so just let me know if you have any questions on comments or anything um, new, bee new beekeepers and I can refer you to sites or also good beekeepers who I learn from and books and all that kind of stuff so all right um, wish you luck if you are a new beekeeper this year you can watch my channel see how I'm doing, and if I have anything I'm doing wrong, please let me know. Um, all right. Thank you, guys.